Well, hello there, chums. It is I, Captain Steven XO. And today, chums, I've got a video for you guys out there in the viewerverse. Heck yes. Around the next generation update. And the thing that spikes my interest the most. And um, it's only going to really apply to those that have got a haptic feedback joypad. So I'm thinking maybe the PS5 really community. So there we are. So this is a video for those guys. However, I have heard that the PlayStation haptic pad somehow works with Xbox. Uh, yeah, I saw a video on that on YouTube the other day. Pretty crazy. But anyway, let's fire up the video and I'll give you my thoughts and feelings on this haptic joypad and why I'm feeling slightly excited about it. So engage a Mondo. Execute a Mondo. <laughs> Okay, so there is so much to get excited about about Next Generation. I mean, even the lighting and the shadow effects are so much better in this actual trailer. Watching it back a couple of times now, and I'm like, wow. And I'm wondering, has it actually got ray tracing turned on? It kind of looks like it might have, but they didn't actually say that, so I can't actually quote it as being factual. But what I'm really excited about is the haptic controls feedback for Next Gen. Yeah, the haptic controls. And the main reason I say that is if I'm ever playing in PlayStation VR, sometimes I don't charge up my Move controllers and I end up using just the joypad. And the joypad is like half the experience when you're going for the immersion. But hearing about what they're saying about the haptic feedback, I mean a lot of this footage that I've got here now is from CNET. I'll put a link to CNET's original video at the top so you can actually hear what the first impressions are of the joypad and how amazing the haptic control feedback is. And I'm going to summarise some of the stuff that was said by CNET right now. I mean I've watched a few of these videos now, a couple. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's brilliant. So. When you're actually pulling back on the actual hat stands, you actually feel the pad vibrating inside and sometimes it even makes sound. So say if you're pulling something back like a spring, like in this case, you can actually feel sort of like a, a metal on metal sort of feeling inside the pad and underneath the actual hat stands. It feels like you've got a slinky in your hand is what they were saying at some points. And the actual triggers on the back actually give you some sort of um, feedback or um, resistance. So when you're mining stuff, perhaps as your mining laser starts to sort of get a little bit hot and give you a bit more feedback, you're going to feel it through the actual pad is what I'm hoping. So the immersion level with the pad when I'm playing in VR, I'm hoping is going to be ramped up quite a fair bit. So yeah, that all sounds pretty damn fantastic. And when listening to CNET, they actually liken some of this feedback to when you've got the uh, vibration control set on your mobile phone. So when you press on the screen, it actually feels like there's a key there. In a similar sort of sense, that's what they're saying with this pad. So if you are pulling back on something that feels like metal, it's going to feel like metal on metal through the actual pad somehow. And I guess you can't describe it. It's almost like describing the colour green to someone that's colourblind or something like that. You know, it is very difficult. But yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on this and actually feel exactly what they're trying to put across in these videos. And I've, I like I say, I've watched a few and they're very interesting. I mean, a lot of the stuff that he's talking about here is like the PlayStation um, button in the middle and they're pressing it. At the moment, there's no sort of round ellipse to it. It's just the PlayStation logo and is it harder to reach? And then comparing it to the other pad, you know, the old PlayStation pad and things like that. So I would suggest go watch those videos and see if you've got the same level of excitement as what I've got for this haptic feedback. So there we go, that's my thoughts and feelings on the haptic pad. Um, I mean, there are other features of the next gen update date that have got me interested and got me excited. It's like the 32 multiplayer. That, that's going to be freaking awesome for like collab base builds and things like that. That could be really good fun. Especially if you're going to make some sort of city or little town together or something like that. That could be freaking ace. Turn on the settings to allow you to damage each other and have a giant space skirmish, you know, last man standing type affair. Blow the heck out of each other in a massive great big online sort of dog fight. That could be epic fun. Heck yes. I mean, that'd be mind-blowing that'd be so cool wouldn't it yeah so when you respawn respawn in the station like you do anyway and just sort of stand around until there's just one person left uh, that that could be brilliant fun so there, there we go there's a couple of things that I'm, I'm looking forward to when it comes to next gen but anyway what are you guys looking forward to when it comes to next gen i mean a lot of you are already on super duper fandangled pcs that aren't getting the benefit of all these sort of settings so for you guys it's just a toggle switch so so much in this next gen update even if it's not for everybody i understand those that are on previous gen might not get to utilize a lot of this but there is a lot of patch notes there a lot of bug fixes interesting ones as well so i'm hoping it gives you an extra bit of polish on previous gen i mean i might not get a next gen console on launch 
launch because I've had a, a massive headache trying to get myself reserved in one. So yeah, I'm going to go around on day one and look for one. But you know, over in the UK, here in the UK, we're not getting next gen until the 19th. You guys over in the US and that, you're, you're getting it on the 10th. So you're going to get a, a nine days head start on us guys. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling about next gen. Like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, yeah, what the heck was that? I'm trying to end off here. Could you be quiet, please, Secretary Nesh? Yeah, secretaries. And uh, there we go, Nuscap. Supervisor Nuscap. You're not doing a very good job of supervising freaking Secretary Nash. Keep them quiet while I end off my video, would you? Awesome. So there we go. Sorry about them, guys, people. They, they do like to, um, you know, sort of video bomb me. Anyway, you guys, fantastic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye all. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you like what you see, please hit a like or a subscribe. And yeah, or you can support my channel through Patreon. Here are all my Patreon backers. Thanking you, Patreon. And I also have YouTube membership. If you want to sign over to YouTube membership, check out my video links in my video description. I also have merch. Grab yourself a fine and dandy pair of socks, a mug or a t-shirt over at my merch store. Or I also have Atlas cards that I sometimes have in my eBay store. Check out my video description. So that is the end. Thank you for watching and please hit a join or a subscribe or just hit one of these tiles on the screen you see here now. Stay with Captain Steve a bit longer. <laughs>